Right now we're going to go over some troubleshooting techniques. If you're having problems with your image not printing correctly, getting banding in it, or some of the color not printing correctly in your image, or sometimes even if your image doesn't print at all, what you want to do is you want to check your nozzles in your printer. We recommend printing with an inkjet printer using sublimation or chromoblast ink at least once a week. If you don't do this, the ink could have a tendency to dry up in your printer. Now we sell a software called Printer Jockey that if you're going on vacation or not using your printer very much, you can just leave your printer hooked up to your computer and the Printer Jockey software will automatically put a little bit of ink through the print heads to keep the ink flowing through your printer. Right now we're going to show you how to do a nozzle check and then we're going to also show you how to clean out nozzles in case the nozzle check and a head cleaning isn't working. So in our power driver software we're going to come and we're going to do a nozzle check. To do that just go to bitmap driver and then pull up nozzle check and just click on nozzle check. It's going to give you a representation of what the nozzle check should look like once it's printed. It should be solid lines both in black and then all in color. Now this is going to look different on whatever type of printer that you're using. So right now we're using a C120. We have five heads. An R1800 is going to look differently with eight heads. A 1400 is going to have six heads. So depending on the printer that you're going to be using, the nozzle check will come out differently. Now that we see our nozzle check, we can see we definitely have some problems. If you hold this up to the screen here, you can see that one of the black channels has printed for the most part, but there are some still lines and some clogging in that. The other black channel didn't print at all. The yellow and the cyan channel printed fine, and the magenta channel didn't print at all. So what we're going to do now is show you in the software how to do a nozzle head cleaning. This will do an ink charge to clean out the ink in your print head. The unfortunate thing is, is if one of your channels is completely blocked like this black is, no ink is coming through at all, it's going to be really hard to clean that channel out using just your standard nozzle check and head cleaning. So we're going to show you how to manually clean the channel, and we're going to show you cleaning the channel using printer jockey. If the nozzle check doesn't print solid, what you want to come do is first do a head cleaning. And to do that, just simply click the head cleaning or the clean function in the nozzle check section. The printer is now doing a head cleaning. Once you're done with the head cleaning, you want to do another nozzle check to see if the head cleaning actually worked. In this instance, we see that the black cleaned up a little bit. Some magenta started to come through. Once again, the yellow and the cyan are fine but the second black is still nothing. So now we're going to take the next step. First we'll use an advanced software called Printer Jockey. Come to the Start menu and open up Printer Jockey. Printer Jockey is a printer management software, so it allows you to use or clean one channel at a time. This is a great advantage to us sublimation and chromoblast users because cleaning all the channels, even though all our channels are not clogged, does waste some ink. With Printer Jockey, we can only waste ink or only use ink on the channel that we specifically need to. First of all, you want to select your printer. You don't want to select the power driver printer or the chromoblast driver printer. You want to select the actual Epson driver on the printer that you're working on. Now, Printer Jockey only works with the Epson 1400 or above. It doesn't work with the smaller printers, unfortunately. Right now, we're going to select the Epson R1800. Go ahead and double click that. Once the R1800 is selected, we can choose our options. To select what option we're going to use for the printer, we'll go to Printer Options. We can select Print Alignment Grid, Channel Flush, Nozzle Clean, Nozzle Check, Pause Printing, Time to Prints. This will be what you use if your printer is left for a while or if you're on vacation. Use Printer Offline and so forth. Right now we're going to do a Channel Flush. This is the most commonly used feature of the software. We select how much of a channel flush we want to do. Do you want to do a standard one, medium, heavy medium, or heavy channel flush? If your channel is all the way clogged, you want to do a heavy channel flush. Next thing you want to do is you want to select the channel that you want to flush. So let's select, let's say, matte black channel. Finally, you want to select your sheet size and your resolution. I recommend using standard resolution. You can use 720 by 720. Basically, the higher resolution you go, the bigger the file gets, and the more ink lays down. We found that if you try to use 28 by 1400, sometimes it doesn't come through all the way because the file is too big. Then hit Create. 
once you've hit print and your channel flush is completed, it's going to look like this. Basically, we're only pulling from one channel, the matte black, and it's just using the ink from the matte black, super flushing it out and opening up that channel without wasting any of the other ink. Printer Jockey will save you a ton of money if you're running sublimation or chromoblast ink because of this channel flush feature. It'll probably pay itself off in the matter of a couple months because you're only using one channel at a time. If you've already run a couple head cleanings and nozzle checks inside the software, and also possibly already run printer jockey, but your head still isn't blowing out, let's say the black's still clogged and the magenta's still clogged, we're going to show you how to manually flush out a print nozzle. What you want to do is on the printer, hit the ink button, and that'll bring the printer in the ink replacement position. Once it's in the replacement position, you're going to want to take out all the print cartridges. Now you do want to remember what channels you're having problems with. So keep your last and most recent nozzle check paper in front of you. Next, we're going to be using a syringe. And this is a special syringe provided by Sawgrass that will manually flush the print nozzles. Right now we have an HD print head nozzle cleaning solution available through Rionet or you can also use Simple Green. Now when using this you want to be extremely careful. If you spill ink in any of these electronic components it's going to fry your printer. So you want to have, make sure that your syringe is sucked tight and that you're not having any air or any solution dripping out the edge of the, edge of the syringe. We're having problems with our number two black which is right here and our magenta which is right there. Next we'll take the syringe and fit it over the nozzle of the number two black. This will fit snugly on top of the number two black, in fact it will even sit in place by itself. Next you want to push through a little bit, just a tiny bit of solution. You want to ensure that solution is entering through the print head and is not spilling out because if it spills out then that can also ruin your print head and your printer. Next we'll take it and place it over the magenta. Once again very carefully. Sometimes if it's really clogged you have to press a little bit harder. You don't want to squirt all your might at once, just do it softly and firmly. We'll see if that works. Now we'll put the cartridges back in the printer. Place the carriage top back down, press the ink button again, and that'll do an ink charge. Finally, you want to come back and do another nozzle check through the software. Look how well flushing the heads manually worked. We have solid lines here, solid lines here, our magenta is also solid, our yellow is solid, and our cyan solid. We're now ready to start printing sublimation again.